The problem reads, given the points A, 1, 2, 3, B, 2, 2, minus 1, C, minus 3, 1, minus 2, and D, 1, minus 2, 0, find the acute angle between the line through A and D and the plane through B, C, and D. So this problem has several steps to it. Let's look at it geometrically and then algebraically. So here's our three-dimensional space. Let's draw the four points, A, B, C, and D. Now we need the line through A, D. That's the line through A, D, and the plane through B, C, and D. So what we're going to do, because we want these three points to lie on the plane, we're going to draw a vector from D to C and D to B. We could have picked any of the points to be the base point. We just pick D because it's easier. So here's DB and DC. So these two vectors have to lie in the plane and they define the plane. This is the plane and what, what we're looking for is the angle between this line and the plane. And how can we get that? Well, from our plane we can get a normal vector. That's this one up here. We can get a line normal to the plane. And between two lines, we know how to use the scalar product to get the angle. So this will be 90 degrees minus the angle that we are looking for. Let's put this on a smaller picture. The angle we want is between this purple line and the plane. That's alpha. Once we have the equation of the plane, we can find the equation of the normal directional vector to the plane and we already have this line so we can find this angle using scalar products which is 90 degrees minus alpha and then find alpha so our plan is find the equation of the line find the equation of the plane find the normal directional vector to the plane find the angle between the two lines and subtract from 90 now we can do everything with directional vectors. So let's first find the directional vector for the line AD. The directional vector for the line AD is D minus A. So D, 1, write minus, go find A, 1. Write D minus 2, write minus, go find A, 2. Write D, 0, write minus, go find A, 3. So I see 0, minus 4, minus 3. So that is a directional vector for this line. That's good enough for us. Now let's get the directional vectors for DB and DC. The directional vector for DB is B minus D, uh, B is 2 right minus go get D. Write B 2 minus go get D minus 2. Write B minus 1 minus go get D 0. And we have 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 plus 2 is 4, and minus 1 minus 0 is minus 1. We need the directional vector for DC. So let's get that. So we have C minus D, write down C minus 3 minus, and then go get D, 1, 1 minus D minus 2, minus 2 minus, go get D, 0. So minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4, so 1 plus 2 is 3, and minus 2. Now, what we want is this directional vector that's normal to these two directional vectors. So how can we find that? We know that we can get a normal from two vectors if we take their vector product. So RDB vector product RDC. And that's the determinant. I, J, K. And then we write down the components. So 1, 4, minus 1, minus 4, 3, 
minus 2. And because we need to save space, we're going to do everything at once. You can check it. I is positive. I is minus 8 plus 3 minus 5. Here we have to remember our minus. We'll write it. Minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6. So we get plus 6. And then K is 3 minus, minus 16, so 19. And now we need to find cosine of 90 degrees minus alpha by taking the scalar product of N and RAD. So cosine of 90 degrees minus alpha angle here is the scalar product of N and RAD divided by their intensity, their modulus, their lengths, whatever word you like. And so we get, let's get our calculator up, 5 plus minus times 0 plus 6 times 4 plus minus plus 19 times 3 plus minus equals minus 81 divided by the intensities. So the intensity of this would be 5 squared plus 6 squared plus 19 squared equals square root 20.54 times, and our other one is 4 squared plus 3 squared. That looks like a Pythagorean triple, and it is 5. So how much does that give us? 5 times 20.54 equals 1 over x times 81 plus minus equals minus 0 0.79. Minus 0 0.79 is cosine of 90 degrees minus alpha. Except that this is negative, and we have already discussed this. These are always acute angles. So 90 degrees minus alpha will be a cosine, the inverse function, and here we put in the positive value, so we'll make a point of that, 0 0.79, and let's look that up on our calculator. So make this plus minus, and then take the inverse cosine, so 38 degrees, which means that alpha equals 90 degrees minus 38 degrees is equal to 52 degrees. And that is our answer.